One of management's major responsibilities is planning. Planning is the process of establishing company-wide objectives. A successful organization makes both long-term and short-term plans. These plans establish the objective of the company and proposed way of accomplishing them. A budget is a formal written statement of management's plans for a specified future time period expressed in financial terms. It represents the primary method of communicating agreed upon objectives throughout the organization. Once adopted, a budget becomes an important basis for evaluating performance. It promotes efficiency and serves as a deterrent to waste and inefficiency. We consider the role of budgeting as a control device in Chapter 23. Accounting information makes major contributions to the budgeting process. From the accounting records, companies can obtain historical data on revenues, cost, and expenses. This data is helpful in formulating future budget goals. Normally, accountants have the responsibility for presenting management's budgeting goals in financial terms. In this role, they translate management's plan and communicate the budget to employees throughout the company. They prepare periodic budget reports that provide the basis for measuring performance and comparing actual results with planned objectives. The budget itself and the administration of the budget are entirely management's responsibilities. A budget is an aid to management. It is not a substitute for management. A budget cannot operate or enforce itself. Companies can realize the benefits of budgeting only when managers carefully administer the budgets. You have here a list of six benefits of budgeting. I would definitely be familiar with these um, benefits. Effective budgeting depends on a sound organizational structure. In such a structure, authority and responsibility for all phases of the operation are clearly defined. Budgets based on research and analysis are more likely to result in realistic goals that will contribute to the growth and profitability of a company. The effectiveness of a budget program is directly related to its acceptance by all levels of management. Once adopted, the budget is an important tool for evaluating performance. Managers should systematically and periodically review variations between actual and expected results to determine their cause. However, individuals should not be held responsible for variations that are beyond their control. The term budget is actually a shorthand term to describe a variety of budget documents. All of these documents are combined into a master budget. The master budget is a set of interrelated budgets that constitutes a plan of action for a specified period of time. The master budget contains two classes of budgets. Operating budgets are the individual budgets that result in the preparation of the budgeted income statement. These budgets establish goals for the company's sales and production personnel. In contrast, financial budgets focus primarily on the cash resources needed to fund expected operations and planned capital expenditures. Financial budgets include the capital expenditure budget, the cash budget, as well as the budgeted balance sheet. This image shows the individual budgets included in a master budget and the sequence in which they are prepared. The company first develops the operating budgets beginning with the sales budget. Then it prepares the financial budgets. We will explain and illustrate each budget except for the capital expenditure budget, which will be covered in a later chapter.